Hey guys, it's Kim here with Fairly Fiber Fun. Thank you so much for joining me on today's first ever um, crochet tutorial. We are going to be working on the chevron stitch. So it worked in US double crochet or UK um, treble crochet. And we're going to begin with a chain of 22 stitches. So um, I began this tutorial because there was a little confusion in the Ravelry group where we're doing a cardigan crochet along and I thought I would try to clear that confusion up. So here I am skipping the first two chain and going into the third chain. I'm doing double, US double or UK treble crochet. And you're going to do this in four chain stitches. So there's the second one. It's pretty easy to tell which stitch you need to go into the next. Well, with this yarn. And then you're going to skip two chains two, and go into the next one. And then you're going to double crochet into the next three chain stitches. So I've got four and then the skip. So we want four on the next side. Two. Three. And four. Chain two and double crochet into the next chain stitch, no skipping. And then double crochet into the next three. I find this first row to be a bit fiddly and it's easy to miscount the number of chains and skip a stitch or put two double crochets in the same stitch, so I always have to watch myself on this row. Now we're ready to skip the next two chains and go into the third one. So this is how you crochet into the actual chain stitch. And we're going to put two double crochets into the last one. And then I know the pattern says to turn around and then chain three, but I tend to forget and chain three first. Okay, so now we're going to work row two and um, you've got your chain three and you're, you're gonna crochet into the first double crochet of the previous row, not the space beneath, but the actual top of the stitch in the top of each stitch, which the stitches are, um, they have two loops and we're working through both of those loops. As I'm showing you here, you can see the two loops on my hook. And that's where you want your hook to go for your stitches. So now we're going to work across the first four stitches of the previous row in US double, UK treble, And we're not going to work the last stitch before the previous rows gap because we want to skip that, those two stitches on either side of last gap and crochet into the next one. So now we're going to double crochet into the top of each of the next previous rows double crochets. And then we come to last rows, chain two space, and the pattern says to double crochet, chain two, double crochet, into that chain two space. So we're going to go around that chain two. See that big old gap there? 
that's where your hook is going, not into the stitches, around the stitches. And you'll notice that they can slide around on that chain because they're not going through a particular stitch. So that's how you chain into the chain, uh, how you work into the chain two space. Double crochet into the top of the next three stitches of the previous row. Skip two. And double crochet into the next. So we're going to work all the way to the end of the previous row's double crochets and then I'm going to show you again how to work through the around the space, around the chain, which is how I've been doing the pattern and it is the lazy cheaters method because I'm working in the space, not in the stitch. So now I'm going to show you in contrast thread what that looks like. On the right is a purple needle pointing to the working into the chain space and on the left is a green needle pointing to working in the top of the chain stitch. So you can see the difference. All right, now I'm going to show you the proper way to work into the top of the chain stitch, which you can do through one of the chain loops or both of them. I'll show you through one first which is the easier way. It's a little bit fiddly and my stitches are all twisted up. That's okay. Double crochet into the top of the chain. Now, for some odd reason, I don't like the way that looks, so I'm going to do it the really hard method, and I'm going to pick up both of the top loops of that chain, which is super fiddly sometimes. But I forgot my yarn over, so now I have to redo that. <laughs> there we go. See? Two, stitch, two loops on the top, one loop on the bottom of your hook. This is working into the top of your chain three, which was your first stitch of the previous row. This is the actual proper way to do that. And see how nice that looks. On this end we have the cheater method of working into the chain space instead of the top. And the proper method working into the top of the stitch. Or into the top of the chain three. Um, so yeah, that's the proper way to do it, the cheater way to do it, and it just looks so much better to do it right, so maybe I'll switch over and do it right from here on out. So now I'm going to show you real life speed of how I typically crochet once I get this little mistake fixed.